tell, for the people at home, what, what was it like from day one, from the surgery on the comeback? Explain to us what it's been like. Uh, from day one to say that, I, I, I didn't know what to expect as far as playing the game, though. Know. Doctors say that there was a career-ending injury, that i never have a chance to walk again, or maybe even was run again. So I just took it day by day, and the main thing was staying positive. You know, It's easy to say, but hard to do. But that's the main thing I, I had was just to stay positive and have faith in the Lord above, you know. I take every day one day at a time, and every day I, I continue to get better and better progress. You know, each, each and every day getting stronger, getting back on my feet, walking, you know, and being back to myself. You know, being back to Munchy Lego, who I was. And I just said, I just sat back and realized that the game was gone. You know, it could be taken from you at any moment. And, you know, I, really, I, I, I sat there on that sideline and in that hospital and all those bed rest and, and pain. You know, I took it day by day and, and, and you know, inherited all that. And I'm here today to say that, you know, if anyone have, ever have to go through that injury, just take it day by day and stay positive. Just remain focused on the goal at hand. And uh, it's not going to happen tomorrow. You know, when I first got hurt, I knew I wasn't going to play that next week, you know, once I got the news. But I just took it day by day. That's, that's the only thing I kept saying, day by day and staying positive. It had to have its I've never been through a rehab, but I, I, I know that people have had to have its moments where, where depression, you know, it just had to get to you. What what did you do to fight out of that? What what, what, what do you fight that off with? Uh, I, it's kind of hard to explain because, you know, it, it, it just took a mentally toll on, on your body and on your mind. Like, man, can you do this? Can you really, can, much, can you really come back from this injury? Because they said it's only a 27% chance that I could come back and play again. So I just took that and ran with it. Like, I, I can come back. And every day, I, I, I'm going to come back. I'm going to be OK. I'm going to be OK. And I started seeing progress. You know, leg getting a little stronger. I'm walking better. The limp in my, my walk was gone. And I just took it day by day. Like I say, mentally, I was mentally destroyed at one point to where I didn't know what to do, who to turn to, who to talk to. You know, because everybody was saying, oh, you're done. You're done. You'll never play again. Uh, Get your education, get your education. I'm thankful I, I graduated this past summer, um, got my undergrad. But as far as the whole wall injury and coming back from it, I try my best just to remain positive, just to remain positive. Even on my, my worst days when I didn't feel like doing anything, when I didn't feel like getting out of the bed, at least I'm going to try to do something to get better. Let's do, let's do one thing to get better today, you know, and let's just stay positive. That's great. Did, 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 did I hear you say the doctor said you may not walk again? Yes. <clears throat> he told you that out of surgery? Well, not out of surgery, like before the surgery, uh, when I was getting x-rays done, they couldn't find any ligaments to put it back together. The picture looked so gross to where like, we don't know what we can do. We have to get, once we get in there, that's when we're gonna figure everything out. Because from the outside looking in, it don't look too good. Like they kind of sat down and told me that. You know, I didn't know how to take that. I, didn't, I really didn't know how to yes. take that. And my family was there, and all they saying was, just, just remain positive, just stay positive, just stay positive, pray about it, and stay positive. Do, do you know, you know, almost a year removed from that now, do you realize what an inspiration you are to this team? Do the guys come up to you a lot and, and uh, tell you how motivated you make them? Or Yeah, yeah. A lot of guys just come up to me and be like, they're proud of me. But keep fighting. They, they're happy to see me out here, back smiling, walking, talking, running around. And um, I thanks, thanks for those, thanks for those teammates, wonderful teammates I have. This coaching staff, the strength and conditioning staff, the athletic department, the training room, Bioman Gene, Dr. Colosimo, all those that did a tremendous job of rehab, rehabbing me. You know, having a plan. That's the main thing they did was had a plan. As long as I stick to that plan, that everything will go by pretty smooth. Where were you at when you, when, and tell me how you found out that you, you were okay to play a fifth year? Uh, Approved, I should say, by the NCAA to play a fifth year, right? Yeah, I think it was in the spring of spring ball uh -huh. that came to, no, it was before spring ball, one of those times. Um, my trainer called me in, Dr. Bob Mangine, and said, you know, the NCAA has granted you with a fifth year. And uh, I was pretty excited about that. Yeah. Also because I never redshirted it. So it, it, it was kind of, on the upper end that we might get it. It's a possible that much you may get it, another chance to play football. Yeah. And um, the coach staff, did, they told me that even if I didn't play, they just want me here. They want me here as a leader on, with the team, whether it's just in the, in the meetings or talking to guys, just being here. My presence of being here, they would love my presence to be here with the team. 
whether you're first string or fourth string, don't matter what you are, man. You made it back. That's gonna be that's a success story of all success stories in Cincinnati here. Opening night, September 12th, they're gonna say your name and you're gonna come out and you know that dude, Cincinnati's gonna go nuts for you. What's it gonna feel? Before you happens, might, what do you expect? I might cry. Yeah. I might cry. You know, for because that's me. I, that's I'm in that, I'm in those shoes. That happened to me. You know, and I'm the type of guy I don't want. I don't. I love the I love the attention, but I don't need it. You know, all that rah rah and thing. But I'm going to take that take that moment in. You know, thank try to thank everyone, give praise for everyone, whoever, you know, say my name of uh, praising me, of uh, thanking me for coming back. But thanks for the support. I would love to support all the support from the Bearcat Nation. Uh, and I'm just ready for the season. Like you say, whether I'm first string or fourth string, I'm going to be much of the go. If I'm the fourth string, I'm, a, I'm going to be the leader on the sideline. I'm going to help those other guys out. If I'm, if I'm the first string, I'm just going to go out and play football.